Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland Reviewer, and it's been a couple weeks since I've actually done any filming. Last weekend I was away at MAGFest in National Harbor, Maryland, and didn't get to see any films, and got caught up pretty well over Christmas, so it's the first time coming back and reviewing some films, So and also considerably less fur on my face, as you can see I finally shaved after two months, and starting off with something that I got to watch on Netflix that came out this year it wasn't a Netflix film but it got released mostly on video on demand and that is a sports movie sequel called The Goon Last of the Enforcers and I saw the original Goon with Sean William Scott and really enjoyed it I thought it was a, a pretty sweet but also very brutal and violent little turn on sports movies and I thought it was the best Sean William Scott's ever been. He was really endearing. It was very different than what he does did as Stifler in the American Pie films and this time around he's retiring and there's a whole new young rough guy around and he's a jerk played by Wyatt Russell and Lee Schreiber pops back up and he's trying to balance a lot of things and this film does some good things is a lot of cliches but overall so this is Jay Baruchel taking the reins as the director on this one and there's a lot going on subplots different kinds of things and overall I think Jay Baruchel was serviceable as a director with this it was paced fine I didn't feel bored at all watching this film and the tone feels pretty consistent with what the first film delivered except I felt like there is a lot more needless comic relief throughout this film and a lot of the humor really didn't work for me. There are some a bit emotional moments and mostly centered around Sean William Scott and his wife but honestly this isn't a super deep film and I don't think it hit on the same level as the first one but overall does does some things right. Cinematographer Paul Sorosi the filming of this isn't super impressive there I did enjoy how sh they shot the fight sequences when those gloves get taken off and there's some fights on the ice in this film but besides that a lot of it didn't feel super impressive in terms of a technical standpoint and this was written by Jay Baruchel and Jesse Shabbat and I there's a lot to be left desired with this story I think in some points it's interesting but it's trying to do, do too many like typical storylines from different kinds of sports films and it's like the comeback story or the new kid in town or like the former rival coming back and helping out or like your teammates and you become rivals and they get one gets sent off to another team and then you become rivals on different teams or one of your rivals comes back and becomes part of your team and all those things all jammed into this one film and I thought they were trying to do too much with that and some of the characters I thought there is good characters our main character I enjoy him Sean William Scott does a nice job his wife doesn't get a whole lot to do in this film which kind of disappoint me besides being like a nagging wife and in terms why Jay Baruchel's character had a point in the first one felt completely needless in this one and it kind of felt like hey this is my movie I wrote and directed this I'm gonna pop up in this and be really obnoxious and wasn't really needed or warranted or liked and in terms of dialogue a lot of the humor falls flat I felt like in this film there's a subplot of one of the teammates dealing with his two Russian teammates who keep making jokes about his mom and I don't feel like that really worked. There were some moments where the humor did work but like that running gag really did not work for me and I felt like it would have been better off with cutting that from the film. And getting to the actual uh, the music by Trevor Norris, it was good, it did its job, it was felt like a sports movie score and it is what it is. It did its job. The acting, I thought Sean William Scott did a nice job in this one. I felt like he got a little more to do in the first one, and I still think he did a really good job in this. 
Allison Hill, I thought, did a nice job, despite the fact that she definitely had less to do in this film. And I thought she was really great in the first one, and I thought she was good in this one. And then Mark andre Grodin, who plays the one teammate who's supposed to be the captain, another subplot going on, and I thought he did a nice job. Liev Schreiber felt a little weary in this, and kind of felt like, well, why did we drag you back into the story kind of thing? Wyatt Russell, I think, did a fine job. Jay Baruchel was annoying, and really shouldn't have been in this movie. But overall, I felt like Goon, The Last of the Enforcers, nothing, not everything worked here, but it was a fine sequel to a fine movie. And that's why I'm going to give Goon, The Last of the Enforcers, a C.